Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have the Numbers Up promo finally here. It was released yesterday and it was a huge letdown. I wanna talk about all the stuff that came out and the insane market rise that happened because this promo was not as exciting and the content yesterday, especially in the market as we were talking about, preview packs have been popping all of last week and there was literally none of that yesterday on this game. So I wanna talk about these brand new Adidas cards. Again, how they're gonna get upgraded. We found the dates. These cards are gonna get updated in the next month or so, and then also not till April. So there's a lot of people that are disappointed with the content that was released yesterday. It just seems like it was not very good. The upgrades for some cards are nice, like the Joao Felix is gonna get pace. There's really only like two or three cards out of this promo that are like really, really hype. Again, you can read it right here. We'll talk about that in just a second. Now also, with the market and this promo not being as exciting as a lot of people thought it was gonna be, the market absolutely exploded. There were tons of coins to be made and cards prices went up astronomical amounts uh, because the content was lacking so much. Case in point, number one is this Neymar inform. He was 1.3 mil being sold in the panic right before the content drop yesterday on Friday. He's now 1.5 mil. So I want to take a look at all that happened, the coins that we made, the coins that were out there potentially to be made, and what people are going to do and what to expect uh, into today on Saturday with maybe a mini release coming. By the way, this doesn't look like a two-week promo. just looks like a one-week promo. But yesterday was a crazy day for reasons that we didn't think, reasons that we weren't really ready for, right? Because EA switched it up and kind of went with like slower content and, and not as many packs and the market shot up instead of like going down as we usually expect it. So it was very, very different. But I want to take a look at these cards and read this right here because this is what these new promo cards are about as we expected. The Predator boost is a dribbling boost or handling for Ter Stegen, the goalkeeper in the promo. Adidas X is pace and Adidas Copa is passing. So again, if you can kind of look on the loading screen, it shows you which cards are going to get what boosts. And the first boost for these cards is going to be a plus five boost and then a plus one everywhere else. So like for Joao Felix and Diogo Jota, Diogo Jota is going to go to an 87. Joao Felix will go to an 88 at the end of December and they'll get plus five on their highlighted stats. So all the X cards will get updated pace, which the cards that are getting updated pace are technically like the best ones in my opinion for the most hyped cards that are in this promo. So upgrade two is the end of December, but upgrade three, when they will reach 99, is not until the end of April. And that is where a lot of people are dis disappointed. It does not make sense. It seems pretty dead, right? That the end of April, basically as we get into team of the season, is not until when we'll see uh, Joao Felix with 99 pace or Diogo Jota with 99 pace, Marcus Asensio with 99 dribbling, which by the way, they messed up his stat today. If you take a look at Marcus Asensio's card, it shows 86 pace here. But if you go into the SBC section, uh, he has 91 pace. So we'll probably see some EA talk about that. EA is probably going to have to mention that because I think they upgraded him too much on this version of the card in the game. So we'll talk about that, the Bergwijn objective, and again, what happened with the market because it went absolutely crazy. Now, as we head into today on Saturday, I'm recording this video a bit early. Uh, these Adidas cards, we actually don't have like a card search inside of here. So if you want to find them, you kind of have to search like this. You go by special. Uh, and since we didn't have an insane amount of pack supply today on this game, these Adidas cards are just slowly dropping into the nighttime, Friday night, um, and Saturday morning UK. And since I'm recording this a little bit early, these prices might look high to you from when you might be catching this video. Um, but honestly, with, with the lack of supply today, these cards are probably just going to slowly drop down in price into the nighttime tonight and Friday. And then I, I would expect them. I would expect some of the high tier cards, the meta and popular ones like Jota, jo um, Joao Felix, Edward Militao, maybe Regulon. I would expect a couple of these cards to jump up in price Saturday morning as we normally see for a lot of promo cards. But I, I want to say one thing right now, and I want to talk about this to get ahead of the game. And we'll talk about it again with the market rise with all of these prices that have gone up on this game in the last basically 24 to 12 to 24 hours. I mean, the promo that is coming in two weeks from now is the big bad Black Friday. And I do I think there's going to start to be people that say since the market is going up this weekend, this might be an opportunity to get out on some of those cards, uh, especially if EA drop more preview packs in the next couple of weeks. We're just going to continue the market going down. So people are going to see this opportunity with a market rise 
to start selling some cards. So that's kind of what I would expect, again, with these new Adidas cards. I think they're going to keep dropping throughout the rest of the week, though. Um, some of them might get low this weekend, and if there's not preview packs this next week, they might rise up kind of nice. Regulon right now is around 80K. Um, he's been chilling right around there. I think this card, and you compare it to like the left back that we just got with Cornet. Yes, this guy has 90 pace. Cornet looks like a pretty good card as well. Regulon does have like the Sonaldo link, which probably helps him out some. But I mean, this this Regulon shouldn't be too much more than Cornet, in my opinion. Uh, and right now he's at 80K. So I do think that a lot of these cards will continue to drop off throughout this week. So if you want to buy any of them for your team, I think that I would probably wait on that. But let's talk more about this market and what happened. And I want to show you some graphs of cards that absolutely exploded today on this game. So take a look at some of your most popular players. We talked about Neymar, right? Take a look at Mbappe. He was down in like the 1.4, uh, 1.3 low range, 1.34. He shot up to actually 1.45. Now it's kind of come back down a little bit. A lot of prices you saw hit their peak, like in that first hour, right after when everybody was buying back. Neymar, again, went from 1.3 mil. Look at this. 1.3 million coins right here. He was actually 1.3 flat and he shot up to 1.55. So like literally a 250K rise on that Neymar. This happened across the entire market. Golds, uh, out of packs cards. Marquinhos right now is basically 100,000 coins. He was down at about 90K, 90K right before the content. He got packed a little bit and then rose up to about 100k a lot of your golds again rose too. the pack supply today was there was like nothing there was like no pack supply which was crazy Varan 168 to 185 now again i'm not trying to start to cause panic for black friday i'm not wanting you to think that you have to sell everything to get ahead for black friday which is in two weeks but i'm just honestly sitting here telling you and saying that these prices going up today and some of these prices going higher than what they've been in the past week by far. Like Urente was 40K, now he's 54. Again, a lot of these cards, there's probably gonna be more preview packs over the next couple of weeks. But with this nice, huge market rise that we have seen, is this maybe a time to cash out? Like before we get to, uh, before we get to Black Friday? I mean, it seems like maybe a little bit too early. But again, this is the time when you, this is the time where everybody is buying that you maybe want to be the person selling. So I'm just going to kind of put that bug in your ear and say, all right, maybe we take a look at starting to plan towards more of an untradeable team. Because I think what you're going to start to see is people, especially with this promo not being very hype, I think you're going to start to see people start talking about Black Friday and start talking about prices dropping because there's nothing else to do in this game right now, uh, except for like the base icon SBC. And you saw fodder go up um, yesterday on Friday as well as a lot of the a lot of their the the hype for yesterday's promo was just not there so people went out and they participated in content that was still there with that icon sbc so you saw a lot of rebounds in the market again uh and i think you'll probably see it it's going to be its highest this friday night maybe in a saturday morning you'll see a, a little bit more of a rise on some cards but I'm, I'm being completely honest with a lot of stuff that went up in price, I would be looking to take the cash. Let's take a look at some more cards that were insanely profitable on, especially cards I would take the profit on and take the cash on would be rule breakers from team two. These cards, again, got supplied so much with preview packs last week. This Suarez right now is 640,000 coins. He was 550 right at the content drop, shot up to 670 and is now back down to 640. I know like Phil Foden, is another one that absolutely banged the price. He was down at 330K, 320 at the content drop. And right now he is like 380, 390. So again, the safe route here is if you've got an untradeable team or a very cheap gold team that isn't gonna lose too much of its value and you're worried about losing some of that value in your squad. I hate to be the guy that talks about Black Friday, but I feel like I need to right now because everything is just up so much that it's kind of like your opportunity to sell when it's up, right? And that's kind of where I'm coming at right now with this market a lot of people have lost coins this last week with losing coins on their team when the prices drop so much with the preview packs that have been put out in the game that actually takes coins off the market um, and makes the market less rich as a whole if you buy those packs with coins right if you think about it because you're you know you're, you're going to be spending coins to get that even though you make profit um you're the technically the market is losing coins when you buy preview packs with coins, right? It, I know it sounds weird, but that's that's literally the economics behind it. Um, some of these cards are up, right? Again, I would I think I would start to take the cash, man. I really, really do think that I would. Team League 4 Mane, 710. He was 630 
earlier yesterday, a huge rise on that one. So that's kind of where I'm coming from right now with the way that this market looks. I think it is a nice time to maybe sell some stuff and you know, you know, recoup maybe some of those losses that we had from earlier in the week and maybe start to play with a cheaper team, more of an untradeable team if you've got that. Um, and you know, doing SBCs right now is probably not the greatest idea as well because with Mohamed Salah Player of the Month, which I failed to talk about in yesterday's video, since the content right now is just based around a lot of SBCs and some okay promo cards that are in packs, um, people are draining their coins doing the Salah Player of the Month, 900K. They're doing the base icon, which goes away on Monday. So after Monday, you might see some fodder go down. And, and that's my opinion on the Salah is I would, I would wait to do this SBC as well. I would wait until this SBC fodder drops off because yesterday again with, wow, Hummels, Hummels is 29,000 coins. He's basically a fodder card day one, day one of a promo. And this brand new promo item is literally one of the cheapest 88 rated on the game. That's crazy. But take a look at Holland, right? He is 30,000 coins at the moment. What was he yesterday before the content drop? 27,000 coins dropped down to 27 and then shot up to 30 as more people are doing SBCs. Kane is 52K, 53,000 coins for Kane. What was he? He was 45,000 coins, went down to 48 and is now 53. That's literally just from SBC fodder demand uh, because people are doing Salah's player of the month and the base icon. I would wait on Salah. Once the base icon goes away, I think that'll make his price go down. And of course, Salah is out for 30 days. So he's got, you have a while to complete him if you want to. Now let's talk about trading in this market, right? Trading when you have a lot of prices up um, and you know, maybe some panic selling, we'll talk about that too. Um, I, when you have prices that are up like this on this market, like I bought a once to watch Messi, he, they play uh, tonight, Friday night they play and I'm, I'm recording this on Friday. I'm speaking like in two different days. Uh, if I say today, tonight, and then tomorrow, because a lot of you guys are watching this on Saturday. Um, but Messi plays, and I got this for 1.64. He's usually about 1.75, 1.8. So I thought that was a pretty good buy. Icons are going to be a pretty decent um, type of car to trade with in this game. And if you start to see a lot of people say, like I'm talking about in this video that, hey, it might be a good time to sell before Black Friday. Again, I'm not telling you to go out right now and panic sell everything. That is not what I'm saying. But when we're going to start to get into those points on the next couple of weeks on this game where people start to talk about Black Friday and they start to talk about selling cards and prices going down. And whenever that panic starts to ensue, like we saw earlier this past week when there was panic for the base icon SBC, you're going to have, again, I think you might have one of those points where a lot of people uh, sell on like one day of this promo and, and of one day in the next two weeks, you're going to see a huge drop off in the morning with too much panic selling. And then you're going to have like, we had the hour of death on Monday, right? I think we're going to have another one of those scenarios. It might not be until next weekend. We will have to see. Um, but it, man, these prices are just one, one, three for this, for this Roberto Carlos. I'm trying to get him under 1.1. That would be fantastic. Messi one, six, five, getting a bit up. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm coming at right now with this market. Now, yesterday was again, an insane day to make coins with those cards that went up. That was a GG. Uh, we did get the Bergwijn objective. I haven't talked about that yet either. And I think the other thing that we could look forward to today on FIFA is a mini release, is a mini release. Now it doesn't say anything about a mini release on the promo page, um, but I think that is one thing that we would expect to see today on saturday as well this berg one objective 92 pace looks pretty solid so that means that he'll be 99 pace at the end of april but he'll be 97 pace uh if that's his true stat he'll be 97 pace at the end of december i'm gonna get this done for the spurs squad um and you get an electrum pack gold pack two players pack it's assist in five matches and in the live friendly numbers up okay so live friendly numbers up score in five assist in five Score in five separate matches with 10 players, 80 dribbling in your squad, uh, play five matches. Wow, this is really, really easy. So I think a lot of people are gonna get this Bergwijn done, which is which is cool. And it's pacey, maybe a nice super sub. He does have a two-star weak foot, um, but uh, that's that's at least cool, right? I think that's pretty dope, and that's a GG. So I'm, I'm gonna be watching these Adidas numbers up cards, um, and I do think that you will see a mini release. Now, some of the names that were a part of the leaked team that we talked about yesterday. Let me go find the leaked team names that we were looking at um, in yesterday's video. These were the team, th these were the players that we thought were gonna be leaked. And this team was actually pretty much spot on. 
Objective was Bergwijn. We had Diawara, Militao, Jota, Felix, Regulon, Reyna, Newhouse, Hummels, Rice, Dembele, and Terstegen. So the players out of this list that we have not seen yet are Fabian, Deli Ali, and there was one more. Deli Ali, Fabian, and who did I miss? Who did I miss? I forget who I... Oh, Di Maria. So Di Maria, Deli Ali, and Fabian. If that is our mini release, I think it would be either today on Saturday or tomorrow on Sunday. And that would be kind of a sick mini release. The only issue is, I, I just don't know. Three Spurs players in this promo, it's kind of crazy. I know I'm a Spurs fan, and I like having more Spurs promo cards in this game, but I feel like that is pretty crazy. So just keep an eye out for some of that. We might have a mini release. The Di Maria card could be, could be pretty sick. It doesn't look like we're getting any position changes uh, or like weak foot skill move upgrades for any of these cards. So it's just basically their Adidas boost. But um, it's also kind of funny if you look at a couple of these dynamic images, like look at Joao Felix. This is an Adidas branded promo and you've got like Bergwijn and Joao Felix have got the Nike symbol just <laughs> showing on their shirt, like just bam, right there in front on the dynamic image. Kind of think that's funny. But again, just kind of an underwhelming promo, 100% as how these cards look uh, and you saw that on the market right a huge bounce back and again i think this might be a time where you just think about maybe we cash on a few of these cards and get ahead of the game if you're cashing out right now i know it seems early but running with an untradeable team maybe after you finish weekend league uh, could be a play for these next two weeks before undoubtedly we see more market crashing ahead of black friday i don't know if i mentioned this at all or not but since the wording on the screen here looks like uh, it doesn't say anything about team one. It just says 11 items are in packs for six days, 21 hours. That makes us think that it's only going to be a one week promo. So it's one week promo with these cards in packs for a, a whole week. And apart from that, we're not sure when the mini release is going to be what, uh, of course we talked about those cards that could get put out in the game, but a lot of unknowns with what's going to be coming after this. If, if that is the case, this would be our first ever, uh, you know, one week promo so far this year, they've all been two weeks. And again, just to show you the store, we do have some deep freeze items, which um, I don't know if there's going to be anything going on here with um, like the freeze promo probably coming. I think like that's a December thing. So I'm not sure what's going to be coming after this Adidas promo. Um, but again, yesterday we had the 25Ks and we had the 45Ks. Now these do expire. Um, they expire today on Saturday. So we could have some insane pack supply today again. Since we've had a lot of preview packs, I would still be a little cautious, but watch out for um, people panic selling again before content today on Saturday, as I'm sure people are going to be expecting um, or could be expecting some more packs. And I was, right? After I got burned on a Neymar, I bought Neymar for 1.58, had to sell him for 1.55 after he dropped from uh, Thursday and then rose back up a little bit in the Friday morning. Preview packs definitely have scared people. So I think you're going to see people still sell before 6 p.m., and uh, as always, again, if the Black Friday rumors start to circulate around, I'm really not trying to cause any sort of crash on the market or manipulate you to try to sell your cards. I'm just saying that this is a day where everything has just bounced up so much from Thursday rewards until right now. This might be a great opportunity while stuff is up in this ever dropping market to cash out on a nice rise and uh, get ready for that big Black Friday promo that's going to be in two weeks. So that's the thesis. That is kind of what's going on right now in this game. Mini release today, maybe another player SBC. Um, and then it looks like they're also releasing like pack SBCs, kind of, um, you know, branded with the Adidas, with the impossible is nothing. You know, that's obviously like the, the Adidas slogan. So we'll see if they continue on some of these throughout this week as well. It'll be interesting to see what kind of Adidas content comes out, but a lot of the jokes yesterday were this Adidas promo is so bad, a lot of us are liking Nike a lot more right now or, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So a lot of fun memes and stuff, but it is all fun. It's all banter in the end. And there are some nice cards that were released, but a lot of them today just didn't get people very hyped and excited for this promo. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I want to know what you think about these cards. The essential objective, again, I talked about that a little bit. He's just really cheap. It's a really cheap SBC. Um, he will get upgraded. It's a nice link to the Kappa right back. Um, decent card, nothing insane. And that, that's how I feel like a lot of this is today. A lot of L's, a couple W's. And that's, uh, that's just the market and how this game feels right now at the moment. But if you enjoy this video, hit a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.